This story is absolutely crazy regarding the whole Tifu drama. What's going on guys? This here with another video today and we're going to be talking about the whole scandal between FaZe and Tifu. Tifu is the biggest Fortnite streamer and content creator at this moment and I can confidently say that he's probably the best Fortnite player in the world. So let's go back to the very beginning of where this started. Tifu joined FaZe in April of 2018 and has been a part of FaZe since he signed a contract of three years with FaZe. Now we don't fully know if this was Tifu's idea idea or if it was his company's idea but Tifu came out and said that he was suing FaZe and here are the reasons why. A new lawsuit filled by Turner's lawyers today alleges that his employer FaZe Clan has taken financial advantage of him by a way of an exploitive contract and unlawful behavior on behalf of FaZe's men. The lawsuit states that FaZe has deprived Turner of certain business opportunities, failed to pay the Fortnite player his share of brand deal revenue and grossly undercut his earnings by taking up to 80% of his earnings in some situations. Now Tifu has not tweeted on social media about the subject but his dual partner left us with this message. Going to make this quick and nothing but facts. This is my point of view, not Tifu's. I joined FaZe back in February of 2018. It was great. Everything was smooth sailing. The team consisted of me, Space Lion, j Mock, and 72 hours. 72 hours didn't see eye to eye with a couple of people on the team, so he left to join Liquid, which at the time was a better team and I respected his decision. We had an open slot on the roster and Banks came to me and recommended and pushed that we should play squad scrims with Tifu and that Tifu would be a great fit. I've known Tifu for four years. We got introduced a while before Fortnite came out but never played together and we had our run-ins on H1Z1 and PUBG. I always thought he was an insane solo player and could clutch up in situations where his teammates would die, but I didn't think he worked well with people that he played with and that he was more of a solo player. I was wrong. In battle royales, you always trash talk each other. It's the sport. But we did have our troll run-ins with each other through multiple BR titles, but never toxic to each other. Long story short, me, Tifu, and the team clicked after playing with Banks and we became a squad under the org fade. Me and Tifu had insane synergy and I felt more comfortable playing with him than I have any other player in my battle royale experience. We got in Friday Fortnite together as a duo. We would have got in with different partners, but got to play together because of Banks and we took off by winning a countless amount of games. Banks shouldn't be getting hate for anything and you're all brain dead if you think he has anything to do with anything bad that has happened. Everything that you see FaZe doing today is because of him. He has shown us nothing but love and appreciation as he does every player that has ever played for FaZe. Unfortunately, we didn't see eye to eye with some management. Lots of people wanted to make a lot right, but their hands were tied. Contract things that happen behind the scenes situations that will not be brought to light not involving Banks. Banks is the man and has done nothing but put his heart into Tifu and me from start and pours his everything into an org more than I have seen anyone do before and I love that man to death. Everyone on FaZe is awesome even though light was shown today about a couple people hopping on bandwagons. I have my own opinions. Stay true to yourself and what you believe in. Do what makes you happy and what can better yourself by doing. As of now, I am still on phase. Me and Tifu are still going to be a duo. We are still going to qualify and win the World Cup, move in together, and take this streaming thing to the next level. One person can't run an org. Don't be pointing fingers at one person for no reason when you do not know half of it. Again. This didn't need to be brought to Twitter, but with so many people worrying about both of us, I felt like my story needed to be shared. FaZe is a great org with even better people. Banks is the man. We both owe him more than people know. Stop trying to read between the lines. Wait for Tifu's statement. My community and fans keep me going and that's all I need. I love you all. This doesn't change anything. Thank you for everything. P.S. Can't talk about percentages against contract. Sorry. Cloak. So there's a one thing that stands out to me in this because in all of this, he's defending FaZe and Tifu and Banks and himself in all of this, talking about how the company is great, the organization is a great, the players on it is great, Banks is the man, how he has done nothing but shown love and affection to him. Unfortunately, we didn't see eye to eye with some management. Lots of people wanted to make a lot right, but their hands were tied. 
contract things that happen between behind the scenes situations that will not be brought to light not involving banks so he comes here and says that it's some management they didn't see eye to eye with but it is not involving banks and banks should not be getting the hate for this now after the drama and allegations had gone down four hours after Cloxy's response phase banks the leader of phase made a response to this video saying, Dear Tifu. Basically, this video was split into two different parts to cover everything about all the allegations. The video was split into the allegations, contract, and organization, and Tifu and Banks' relation. After this, we can see some of Banks' tweets on Twitter addressing most of the allegations. So we start off with, Yo, this whole thing with at Tifu is pretty unbelievable. The first thing I'd like to say is we do not and have never taken 80% of anyone's prize money. Not sure where that came from, but a contract like that has never existed. We've collected zero dollars from Turner's prize money. Zero. So it makes the point to say that they have collected zero money from his prize money. The next tweet goes on to say, I'm pretty bummed out, man. Like, F all the business stuff, the money stuff. Like, this is gonna F with me personally for a really long time. I met at Tifu when he was getting 100 viewers on Twitch. I attached myself and fully committed to helping him succeed, and it worked. And to have all this dropped on my head without any warning, it blows my mind. I still don't fully believe that Turner knows or understands what these claims are. I believe his team put this in front of him and he encouraged him to follow through. I'm heartbroken, homies. So for Banks, it's not even about the money or any allegations that they made. It's him and Tifu's relationship, how he put so much committed time to help Tifu succeed and how he did everything he could to make Tifu what he is today. Banks goes on to say, like I got code Tifu tattooed on my body, imagine how effing stupid I feel right now. He then says, honestly, F being professional, this is so beyond numbers and contracts. Homie, I called you my family, Tifu, and not only did I get blindsided you, but can't return a call? I'm effing crushed, dog. So apparently Tifu hasn't been calling Banks backs or giving him any five minutes to just explain why he did this and what has going, been going on. Banks then goes on to tweet out this Twitch clip of Tifu talking about his earnings and how he he collects all of his earnings besides the earnings that goes to charity totally contradicting his allegations of how phase takes 80 percent of his earnings after that banks tweets out the stats of when tifu joined phase and if you look at the stats on the screen right now you can see in april of 2018 tifu's channel starts to skyrocket now tifu is an insane player and without phase he probably would have got there anyway but phase just sped up the progress continuing on banks tweets he says at the end of the day this is all about money more and more and more money Clearly, Tifu felt he deserved millions of dollars in salary in the addition to all the millions he earned on his platforms. He was unhappy, and this was his attempt at getting out of the contract. To stoop as low as he did, or his team, whoever's responsible for this, it's disgusting. Lies on lies on lies. I'm sorry for being unprofessional, but I'm effing hurt right now. You gotta understand that Banks has been running this team for many years. He has been doing this and he's put all of his commitment into this team. We get these last three tweets right here. I'm getting off Twitter for a minute. I said all I need to say. As crazy as it might sound, I still effing love you, dude, at Tifu, and I wish nothing but the best. A phone call would be appreciated. To clarify, Turner's contract does outline splits in prizes, ad revenue, stuff like that. But again, we've collected absolutely none of it with no plans to, and that was very clear to him. We have collected a total of 60,000 from 300,000 in brand deals, 20%. That's it. His last tweet says, sorry, I'm done. I just had to tweet the actual numbers. Tifu makes millions and millions monthly, and we have earned 60K from our relationship with him in total. It's the most important part I need to be clear about. So, Banks makes it a statement to make sure that everyone knows Tifu is making millions upon millions a month. And this isn't like millions in you know the time he has joined phase. It's millions in a month. Millions and millions in a month. And they have in the entire time collected 60,000 from brand deals and that's it the worst part about this is that banks never really cared about the money he cared about his friendship with tifu and how badly tifu really screwed him and his organization over that he has spent years to build banks loves the kid like family so much that he got his code tattooed onto him anyways guys let me know your opinion on the drama and who you think is lying in this situation i hope you guys all have a great day don't forget to like comment and subscribe
It's been your boy Deeks. I'm out, guys. Peace.